To convey salam by means gesturing with the finger or the palm is disallowed. It has been mentioned in the hadith that to greet by the gesturing with the finger is the manner of the Jews and to gesture with the palm is the manner of the Christians. Some people reply to salam by merely gesturing with the hand or nodding the head and some reply just by gesturing with the eyes. The salam is not valid in this way. This is regarded as salam to convey salam by way of mouth means audibly. Some people even bow when conveying salam. If this bow bowing is to the extent of rukur, then it is haram, it's forbidden. And if it is less than this, it is makru. In this era, people have initiated many new styles of conveying the salam. The worst amongst these greetings is whereby people say, Bandagi arz. These words should never be mentioned. Some people say, Adab arz. Even though this is not as bad, but it is contrary to the sunnah. Some people say taslim or taslimat. This can be regarded as salam as it is in the, in the same meaning as salam. Some just say salam. This too can be regarded as salam. It is mentioned in the quran majid that when the angels presented themselves before Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, then they said, qalu salama. And they conveyed salam. In reply to them, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam also conveyed salam. In other words, if someone said salam, then to reply by just saying salam will discharge the right of replying. There are also such people that leave alone them conveying salam to others. Even when someone conveys salam to them, they become upset. They ask those conveying salam to them if they regard them as their equals. In other words, they take offense when being greeted with the masnoon salam by a poor person and they regard it as uh, belittling their status. Others want that they should be greeted by saying adab arz or that the person greeting them should bow and gesture with his hand and some of them are so bold that they say, have you appointed us well to do weavers? Means they say this in a ridiculing manner. Allah gives such people hidayat, means the guidance, and allow them to see the truth. To proclaim alayhi salam with anyone's name is only unique to the Anbiya, means the prophets, and the malaika, angels alayhi salam. For example, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, and Jibreel alayhi salam. With the exception of Nabis and angels, this should not be used with the names of anyone else. In most places, it is a common practice that when a younger person, usually children, conveys salam to the elders, they reply by saying, Jite raho, have a long life. This is not regarded as a valid reply to the salam. This was actually the reply that the kuffar would give during the days of ignorance. They would say, Hayyakallah, Islam has taught us to say, Wa alaykum as -salam. Alhamdulillah, we have completed or this chapter.